So how did the wind energy market perform in 2011? Well, despite the crisis, 21% uh, of all new electricity power installations were wind. Uh, the wind industry installed over 9,616 megawatts, which is a very similar figure to uh, last year. So given that there is a, a major crisis in Europe, uh, the wind industry performed fairly well. Mm -hmm. And what about the, the different countries? How did they do? Uh, well, Germany installed a, a lot this year. Uh, there was also a, a significant increase in Sweden. Romania performed well. Uh, and overall, the countries with the largest capacities are still Germany, as ever, but also Spain, uh, France, Italy and the UK. So all of the big countries in Europe are, you know, have the biggest uh, cumulative capacity for wind energy. But what we have seen is that over the years, uh, more and more European countries are installing wind energy. And what about other types of power capacity? What were the trends there? Well, there's a remarkable story to be told there. Seven, over 71% of all uh, electricity uh, capacity installed last year was renewable. So that really shows the trend away from uh, fuel oil and nuclear, uh, and to some extent coal, and the huge rise uh, in renewables. And that's been a trend for uh, some time. We've seen the increase in renewables, but 71% is a record. And what about then the outlook for 2012? Well, the uh, long-term prospects for the wind industry are extremely positive, with the EU having a uh, legally binding commitment to 20% renewable energy by 2020, with a commitment to reduce emissions by 80% by uh, 2050. The EU is going to have to rely on wind to grow uh, exponentially in the coming years. But uh, in order to achieve that, we do need real growth. Uh, it's been a bumpy ride for the last year and it may continue in 2012, we'll have to see. Uh, if the wind industry can find new uh, forms of financing, but the long-term prospects are very good indeed.